Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's lesson, I will be explaining you about colors, swatches, patterns and gradients. But before I begin, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications of my channel updates. So let's get started. Let's create a shape. By default, the color of the shape is white. I need to change the color. In the option panel, click on the small arrow icon in the fill option. You will get to see color swatches with predefined colors. And in the stroke color option, click on the small arrow icon. You will also see the same color swatches. In the tool palette, you will see fill color as well as stroke color options. If I double click on the fill palette, you will see a color panel pops up. You can click and select shades of the color as well as you can drag this slider to change the color and then select the shades. You can also click on this color swatches button. You will see all the predefined colors. You can drag this slider to change the colors. Click on OK. Before you start working with the colors, go to Windows menu, click on Color. Color panel window appears. Sometimes this panel does not show this option. Go to this option button and click Hide Options. See, it shows less options. If this happens with you, then go to this option icon and click Show Options. Then only you will get access to more options to play with the colors. Let's go to the Windows menu once again and click on Swatches. Swatch panel window appears. Now what I do is drag this Swatches window to the base of the color panel. Until you see blue highlight, then release the mouse just like this. Once again, let's go to Window and click on Gradient. Gradient window pops up. Likewise, I will drag this panel to the base of the swatch panel. Let's drag towards here until you see blue highlight, then release the mouse. See all the three panels are attached together. Even if I close this panel, go to window, click color and you will see that all the three panels appears on the screen. This technique will help you to color the shapes in a very easy way. In this color panel, click on the option icon. You will notice that there are many color modes grayscale, RGB, HSB, CMYK and WebSafe RGB. Let's click on grayscale. Grayscale is the collection or the range of monochromic shades ranging from pure white on the lightest end to pure black on the opposite end. That is why grayscale images contain only shades of gray and no color. Let's select RGB. You can drag the slides of each color channel and change the color to a new color. You can also see the change in color in the shape. Since my document is in RGB, you can use this RGB mode and play around with the color. Now, let's select HSB. H stands for U, S stands for saturation and B stands for brightness. You will change the overall color. Saturation means the intensity of the color. If I drag the value to negative, it removes color information and if I drag and move the value to positive, the color becomes much more intense. Brightness means adding brightness or darkness to the color. Okay, now let's select CMYK mode. Like RGB, you can mix individual color channels to create a new color. You can also pick the color from the color display bar here and drag the sliders to mix and create a new color. Next is WebSafe RGB. In this color display bar, you will notice the color that is visible is best for the websites or apps. The color that is displayed is not as smooth as you can see in CMYK or RGB. RGB and CMYK displays full color which is best for designing. whereas WebSafe RGB displays limited color which is best for websites and apps. You can click and pick any color for your websites or any apps design projects. Okay, 
Now notice that my document is in RGB. So you should work with RGB mode, not CMYK. But if you want to use CMYK colors, then you need to go to file menu, document color mode, and you will see that RGB is selected. Click on CMYK. Now my document is being converted to CMYK. I can now go to color panel and from the option icon, click on CMYK. This is a swatch panel. It allows you to quickly apply predefined colors to your artwork. Whatever color you select from the swatches can easily be changed from this color panel by dragging the sliders. If you want to save the color in the swatch panel, take the cursor over here, click and drag it to the swatch panel and release the mouse. See, the color is saved. Let's pick any color in the color panel, do some changes. Now, I want to save this color to swatch panel. Then bring the cursor over here, click and drag it to the swatch panel. Let's increase the stroke size. Now I need to change the stroke color. In swatch panel, here you will see fill and stroke option. Likewise in color panel, you will also see fill and stroke option too. Click on stroke, drag the color sliders and you will notice that the stroke color is also changing. In the swatch panel, if you click on any predefined colors, it gets applied to the stroke as well. Now let's click on the fill palette. You will notice that the stroke palette now goes behind the fill. Click on any colors to the fill shape. Let's remove the stroke for now. In the swatch panel, you will see swatch library menu button here. Once you click, you will have an access with so many predefined color templates. Let's go to Art History and click mm, Pop Art. Pop Art panel windows appears with extra colors. You can click on any colors to see the changes. From here, I can also access to the Swatch Library. Let's say Celebration. You see, so many predefined colors. Likewise, you can keep on checking with other options as well. Okay. Now this time, now let's go to Patterns, Basic Graphics and click on Basic Graphic Dots. Click on any patterns and see the changes in the shape. It fills the shape with repeated decorative elements such as geometric shape, textures or custom designs. Let's try out with another pattern fills. This time I go for Pattern, Decorative and Decorative Legacy. You will get an access to large number of fancy colorful patterns. Likewise, check other patterns as well. you will be having another very interesting pattern that is nature and nature animal skins as well as nature foliage. Click on skins and see the results. Interesting, isn't it? Let's check for nature foliage. Wow, nice, looks great. But if you want to remove patterns from the shape, just click on any solid color in swatch panel. From the Swatch Library menu, you have many options to fill from each category out here. Next, Gradient. In the Swatch panel, you will notice a black and white color. Just click. This is called Gradient Color. Gradients are gradual transition between two or more colors. Go to the Tool Palette and search for the Gradient Tool. This is the Gradient Tool. Once I select the Gradient Tool, you will notice a horizontal line over here. This indicates the flow or the direction of the color. If I click and drag from right to left, the color gets reversed. If I drag from bottom to top, accordingly, the direction of the color changes. If I drag diagonally, the direction of the color flows accordingly. Very simple. You will also notice a point on this gradient line. If I drag it towards the right, the area of the black color increases. If I drag it to the left, the area of the white color increases and the black color area decreases. 
This point and this point in the gradient panel is the same thing. If I drag this point in the gradient panel, you will see the same changes being applied on the shape. This is known as linear gradient, which means the color will flow up, down, left, right, as well as diagonal. This is radial gradient, means the color rotates in 360 degree. This is a free from gradient. You will see few gradient points around the shape, but I will be showing you this a bit later. Let's select linear gradient. To change the color, click on this point. Go to swatch panel, click on any color and drag it to this gradient point. See the color changes on this point. Now let's select the other point. Go to swatch panel, click on any color and drag it to this gradient point. This is how you customize the gradient color. You can also drag this point to shift the color. Let's click on Radial Gradient. It looks like this. Okay, let's get back to Linear Gradient. Now in this two color gradient, I need to add another color. So click anywhere out here to create another gradient point. Go to Swatch Panel, click and drag any color to this point. See how new color is being added to this gradient. You can also move these points to adjust the area of the color. Say I want to make this color green a bit darker. Go to color panel, click on option button and select HSB. Drag the slider of the brightness to the left. See how green color becomes dark. If you want to change the color, just drag the hue slider and see the color changes. Now just drag this gradient point out here. Let's click and create another point here. Go to swatch panel, click and drag any color to this point. See, another color has been added to this gradient. And if you want to remove this color, go to gradient panel, select the color gradient point that you want to remove, click and drag it out like this. You can also swap the colors by clicking on this reverse gradient option. Again, if you click on this icon, it will bring back to the color flow to default. This circular gradient will be effective if we create a circle for better result. Let's create a circle. Select Radial Gradient. Using Gradient tool, define the center just like this. Let's swap the color. See how interesting the shape looks like. Now I just copy the shape and click on Paste in Front. Using Alt and Shift key, scale down a bit and rotate the circle on the other side pressing Shift key. See, it gives a 3D illusion like a button. Let's remove this. Create a rectangle like this and apply Linear Gradient. Give a diagonal direction to the gradient. Let's create a square. Remove fill and apply stroke to 4 point. Okay, I want this side of stroke to have this color and the other side to have this orange color. But it is not possible to give two different colors to one single stroke. So what I do is, using Direct Selection tool, I select this anchor point and press Delete. Using Selection tool, press Alt and drag to create a duplicate. Rotate it to the other side using Shift key. Select this stroke. I want this stroke to be changed to this color. So go to Tool Palette and click on Stroke. Using Eyedropper tool, press Shift key, click on this color, see the stroke color changes. Now select another shape using Eyedropper tool and pressing Shift key, click on this color. Here you go. Now let's join this shape and make it look like a square. Select both the shapes and group it. Bring the stroke right on top of this rectangle. You will get an illusion of a bevel. Let's copy and paste it in front. Using shift key, rotate on the other side. Now press shift and all keys and scale down a bit. See how it looks like a bevel block. 
Okay, let's remove this and talk about freeform gradient. Create a circle once again. And you will notice that freeform gradient is not active because you see the stroke palette is selected. Click on fill palette and apply gradient fill. Let's click on freeform gradient. You will notice that the gradient disappears. You will see a point which you can move anywhere within the shape. Go to swatch panel, click and drag any color to this point. Let's create another point by clicking anywhere within the shape. Go to swatch panel and click on any color. You can also drag the point anywhere you want. Again click to create another point. Select any color in the swatch panel. Likewise, continue adding points with different colors. If you move the cursor over the point, you will notice that there is a dotted outline. Just click it and drag. This will increase or decrease the color coverage. Just this is what you have learned today regarding colors, swatches and patterns as well as gradients. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll be back with some interesting videos soon. Till then, bye.